I want you to turn with me to Philippians chapter 4, 6 through 9. Because I want you to see something that you may not have seen before. Philippians chapter 4, the Bible says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your quest to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. And then the next verse, we're going to keep going. Verse 8, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, do what? Think on those things. And then whatever you've learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice. In other words, don't just think about these positive and lovely and these pure things, but begin putting them into practice. And what is that last verse there? It says, and the God of peace will be with you. So here's what I want you to notice from these two verses as we close off this series today. That when our minds are focused on God, there is a corresponding peace. But not just that. When our minds and our bodies are focused on godly things, there is an additional corresponding peace. Well, I wonder if there's anyone here today that feels like they've been in a battle in their minds. I wonder if there's anyone here today who's been fighting a battle of discouragement, a battle of anxiety, a battle that no one else knows about, but it's a battle that's been taking place in your mind. I assume in a congregation like this, yeah, there's, there's some people, for those watching online, same question. Here's what I want you to receive as this incredible good news. That through the power of Jesus Christ, these strongholds do not have to remain. When we focus our minds on Jesus, and when we turn away from the negative thoughts, when we turn away from the lies of the devil, and we begin focusing on our minds on godly things, you, you starve that devil of discouragement. You starve that wolf of worry. You say, I'm not going to pay no mind to those negative thoughts. I'm not going to pay any attention to those lies. I'm going to replace them with the truth of God's word. I'm going to forget about all these things. I'm going to focus on Jesus and his righteousness and his purity. If you do that, look, I'm not saying you shouldn't also be in therapy. Look, I'm not saying that you shouldn't also maybe have some prescription that your doctor gives you. But I'm saying in spite of all that, in the midst of all that, perhaps you definitely have to do this. If you 